Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, there it is, the Nexus Escape 400 watt inverter. And we've done a refrigerator test. We did an unboxing and a close look and even a small comparison on the previous model, the 150 watt. And in this video, we're gonna actually do some testing. I'm gonna plug in some things, right? We're gonna see what this can power. It's gonna be a short video, to be honest with you. I'm gonna use a power meter as well so we can see what kind of wattage we're getting, right? That's important because we wanna test the 400 watts. And I'm gonna answer the question, right, that people are asking, does this have pass-through charging? Can I charge the battery and power other devices? Well, I'm gonna check that out. So. Why don't we go ahead and get this party started? Guys, by the way, if you want to check out the refrigerator test that we did, or you want to see the unboxing, the close look, and the small comparison to the previous model, I'll put some links in the description, okay? But let's get this testing started. So you'll know what we're going to be testing, right? We've got a 55-inch Samsung TV. We've got our router for the internet. We've got our Wi-Fi mesh router. We have our cameras, right? And we have our smart home system. So, and even our Roku remote and stuff like that. So that's going to be connected along with a fan. We do have a fan nearby. And what we're going to do is plug this fan in. And we'll kind of take a look at what power it draws and if the actual Nexus, you know, escape can handle it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to turn all this on. But before I do, I want you to see something. That's a 2.5 amp hour battery. And that's a 12 amp hour battery. What's the difference? Can this supply more power, this larger battery? Believe it or not, no. They're both 56 volt batteries. And the difference is basically runtime, right? This is going to run like four and a half times longer than this one, right? Because this is 2.5 amp hour and this is a 12 amp hour battery. You know, that's something that people ask a lot is, hey, if I get a bigger battery, is it gonna supply more power? No, it's runtime. So believe it or not, we're gonna show you that you can power, you know, this, this small demo that we're doing with a small battery. Let's go ahead and turn this on and then we'll look at the power meter, okay? So I've got the power meter here. And right now it's not really showing anything, right? So let's turn this on. Now what's going to happen, just so you'll know, is the Roku uh, will turn on, the TV will turn on. We've got a router down here that's going to turn on a mesh router, right? Our Google mesh router, our home security, our smart home um, is going to turn on. We're going to turn the fan on as well. Uh, but the TV will turn on and then turn off and then turn back on because I don't know why, but Roku does that. So you'll see the wattage fluctuate for just a moment. So let's go ahead and turn this on and watch it all happen, okay? So I'm just gonna press the button. I think I gotta hold it down, there it goes. Holding it down, watch this here now. It's gonna show the load, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead, the TV's turning on. So we're at 80 some odd watts there, 113, 130. Again, it's gonna drop in a moment, but you'll see here that there's the TV. That's turning on. The Roku is turning on. The router should be turning on in a moment, okay? And again, we're going to drop down, like I said we would, and then we're coming back up in a moment. I don't know why the Roku does that. And the TV is going to be the majority of the wattage here. So 131, 128, right? So you can see here that this little battery is powering everything, all right? And uh, let's turn the fan on. I could find the button. There goes the fan. So I'm at 181, 183. So now the fan is on low to my knowledge. 176 watts. Now I'm going to put it on high. Fan's on high. Running 184 watts. Alright, a little noisy, but the fan's not on top of us. But check that out, right? So everything's coming online. Like the router's coming online, the Roku... The internet, you could see here our security cameras, 
the TV's been on, and look at that. We're running 180 something watts on the 2.5 amp hour battery. Is that something? Now, let me show you my next test. Now it's time for us to answer one of the questions. Can I charge this? I'm going to use a 100 watt, right? This is a 100 watt type C Amazon Basics charger. All right. 100 watt. So can I charge this? And while it's charging, can I actually power the TV, the internet, my router, everything I was powering before? Well, let's find out. I'm going to go ahead, plug this into the 100 watt section on the, on the power brick here. I'm going to plug it in down here in the corner. All right. So that's plugged in. I now have charging going on. So you see yellow light. And I see, you know, obviously that it's being charged. So that's good news. And let's go ahead and plug in all of the electronics we had on before. And then we'll actually check you know, how much wattage it's actually all pulling as well. So here we go. I'm trying this for the first time. All right. So let's see. Is everything turning on? Oh, the TV should be turning on. This is actually turning on. Okay. So check that out. Let's go ahead and look at the power meter for a minute and see. We've got a hundred and some odd watts. Now again, the Roku kind of turns the TV off and turns it back on. So we'll wait a minute there. All right, and we'll go back up to 130 something. There goes the TV back on. So there it goes. So I'm 128 watts, 130. Again, charging and discharging at the same time. So it's uh, receiving 100 watts through the USB Type C. And in this case, we're, we're watching what it's powering, which is the TV the internet, our security cameras, our smart home, our uh, mesh router, okay? And uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. So as you can see, the light keeps changing yellow, showing it's charging, and at the same time, powering devices. So there you go. Pass-through charging is now built in to the Nexus Escape 400 watt inverter. Nice. The next question is, is this really a pure sine wave outlet? Well, we're getting 119.4 volts. Let's go ahead and check and see. Yep, that's a pure sine wave outlet. And that's the cleanest you're going to get. And the only thing that's cleaner is plugging it into your wall at your home. That's the cleanest. And when you're going to plug a computer into this thing, or you're going to plug an audio or visual device to this thing, you're not going to get a humming noise. You know, it's just going to work well. So one thing I have is I have got an Ego charger. This is supposed to be about 320 watts. It's the latest uh, model slow charger, right? And um, I've got a battery on it. So I'm wondering, you know, can it handle that? It should be able to. I don't think I've challenged this enough, but we'll hit the power button and we'll keep an eye on what type of power is going out. All right, 54, 78, 130, 185, 212, 234, 260. Fan went on, just so you'll know the fan went on. 277. So look at that. Now, this actually has a fan and it's on and it's supplying 275 watts to charge this battery on that charger. Not bad. All right, guys, so this is a dual charger. I, I know it's around 200 on each side. I just don't know exactly what. All right, so it might not be fair if it's over 400, especially for long, because the surge rating on the inverter is 800, but that's just for like a moment, you know, it's not for any longer than that. 
Let's turn this on. Let's see how it does. I'll start it up and uh, we'll see how much power is uh, on one side. All right, so there we go. All right, now let me plug this in. How about plugging it in? All right, that's a good start. Okay, plugged in, that's lighting up. 32, 57, 80, 104, 129, 152, 192, 203, 222, 231, 233. All right, so 233 watts, no problem. Okay, so I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put a second battery on, but I don't think it'll last because if it's 233, it'll be 233 times 2. So let's try it out. There we go. 270, 290, 318, 340, 365, 390, 413, 424, all right, uh, 446, I saw 451, so at some point, right, it had to turn off. Guys, not bad, it's doing its job. Well, guys, I mean, you know what, we're sitting in this Tech Made Easy kitchen studio, right? We went out and bought this thing, right? I mean, we always try to do what we can to bring you the information to help you make the decision on if you're going to make a purchase. So knowing this video isn't sponsored, I really hope that this information is helpful. I listen to what you guys say. I read the comments. I try to do everything you, you know you, you request. But I really hope that you give us a thumbs up. And even when our videos are sponsored, I have to tell you, we're, we're brutally honest. We have to be, right? So give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel and it helps the video. All right. If you're new to the channel, by the way, and you haven't subscribed yet, we sure hope that you take a moment and subscribe and join the family. We'd love to have you ask questions. I try to get back to everyone. The channel's still small, which is nice, you know, and f share our video with your friends, your family, especially in chat rooms, you know, the ego chat room, stuff like that. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and check out our new Tesla, you know, channel. We, we just got a Tesla we're doing re regular reviews for now, but little by little, as we learn more, we're going to start to put up what it is to own a Tesla versus a gas car and what's different. And that's why we call it My Tesla Journey. Guys, thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching our video. Hey, guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.